As a uh, human being, I think it is essential for us to be happy. And when I say I think, maybe better word is I thought. I used to think this. I used to think that as a human, our purpose on earth was to find and explore what happiness is, what, what that is to us and how to be happy. Right, to feel that emotion because like as human beings, we feel emotions and those emotions like dictate our lives and how we go about our lives. And, you know, it, it just really a lot of times emotions are what make us alive and living without emotions. We would just be like a computer, right? And for all my life, I have operated under this fallacy and I say fallacy because that's exactly what it is operating out of happiness or the search for happiness will destroy your masculine energy see and I say this not for the um, not to harm you or scare you or, or make you think Oh my gosh, he's telling us that we can't be happy, right? We must be computers. We must be robots. We must operate under the stoic manner. Like, it's not that. See, instead, what I urge you to do is listen, one, to the rest of this video, but two, to just get an open mind, right? Listen to uh, my reason why I believe this, and if for some reason you find it appealing and you, you think that it is something that may give value into your life, then implement it. Start implementing it into your life. And I've done this recently. Uh, Over the past, probably, it's now uh, March, and so I guess two months, I have eradicated happiness from my life. And I do what needs to be done. See, this is what most people call discipline. And now... When I say eradicated happiness, I mean that emotional feeling of being happy. And instead, I search for fulfillment. See, the difference between happiness and fulfillment is that happiness is right now. It's something that I feel right now, right? When I, when I go and like, like I got this Mr. Beast chocolate bar right? When I eat this, I feel happy. There's like this sense of emotion, like, oh, it's sweet. And there's like dopamine hits, right? And there's happiness that I get when I eat this. But that's right now, right? When I put this in my mouth and I swallow it, after I eat it, I look at that empty wrapper. And when I look at that, I'm like, hmm, well, that was... 190 calories of 12 grams of fat, 15 grams of sugar. It's shame. It's guilt. It's self-pity. Why the hell did I eat that? And so you see, when you search for happiness, whether it's in the form of food whether it's in the form of pleasures, video games, porn, whatever it may be, when you're searching for happiness, you get that hit, dopamine, instant trigger. And it floods and it rushes you and you feel all these emotions and giddy, but slowly they fade. And inevitably, you don't change your life. In fact, your life probably gets worse. It doesn't get better. When instead, you switch that and start looking for fulfillment. Start on this path of searching for a greater life tomorrow, not today. And so say we switch that chocolate with some almonds. Some heart-healthy almonds, right? I'm trying to bulk and put on some weight, so I got some healthy fats. What is this going to do? Well, temporary, there's no happiness. I don't know if you've ever had an almond, but it's 
it's not really that enjoyable to eat. But what happens is when you eat this, the micronutrients that are inside of these almonds help boost and stimulate what I'm searching for in testosterone, in my hormones. And it's not instant, it doesn't hit. I don't automatically put on more muscle and gain right more weight like the way that I want. No, it's not instant. Instead, I understand that when I do this, I'm not getting that instant happiness that I would get from this chocolate bar. No, instead, I'm getting long-term fulfillment. Fulfillment in the fact that I sacrificed my happiness in order to have strong muscles, in order to help raise a family, in order to get responsibility put on myself so people look up to me because I'm fit, in shape, healthy, have a brain on my head and operate a business. Whereas if all I'm doing is searching for happiness, I'm probably fat, lazy, probably employed or in other words, enslaved. There's probably multiple of things that are bringing my life down and now my kids and, and wife are going to look at me and, and I expect them to look up to me to become what I am. See, that's what happens when you search for happiness. Ultimately, while searching and trying to find that happiness, that emotion that is fleeting, that will give you instant gratification, but not long-term gratification, you instead will ruin your life. But simply making a switch. And as a man saying, I have a responsibility to protect and provide for my family now and in the future. Thus, I will not be happy. I cannot be happy. I won't be happy. I will instead do what needs to be done, have the discipline to get it done every single day so I can be fulfilled. So I can be proud. So my family, my friends, everyone that I surround myself around will look up to me and, will be a, and I will be a role model in their lives so they too can become better. And I say all this not to invoke an ego in myself and try to build my ego up and that I'm the best and that I'm proud of myself. No, but instead because that is what God intends for us to do. See, God did not create us to search for happiness, to eat some candy bars and just be happy because if that's what he wanted us to do, then he would just give us drugs for days and there would be no, no sort of long-term gratification. Everything would just be us just passed out like we're on mushrooms all the time. That would be happiness. But if you think of someone who's like that, who's just constantly on drugs, and con are they genuinely happy in the long term or temporarily? And they're constantly looking for that temporary release of happiness. You can find this in drugs, alcohol, find this with women, with food. Any sort of short-term pleasures that bring you instant happiness, there's something else there. Something else that is pulling away from your future. So, instead of searching for that instant happiness hit, that instant pleasure, I strongly provoke and strongly would like for you to change your mind on happiness. Stop looking for it. Stop searching for it. As a man, you have a duty. As a man, you must become and search for fulfillment. So do it. Get out there. Work hard. Be disciplined today so that your tomorrow will be better. 
That's it for this video. Thank you guys. If you want to check out our community, it's linked down below. Guys that are working to become disciplined every single day, fulfilled on their journey and on their path. Join us in there. Thank you.